In this video, we're going to see how to customize the tire settings screen and add tire extras such as mounting and balancing. We'll also see how to create a pricing matrix based on tire brand, as well as the steps needed to import your tire inventory into Manage Online. For those who ordered their tires online from American Tire Distributors, we'll go through setting that up. It's also recommended that you watch the follow-on video to this one that shows you how to add tires to the work document. First, we'll go to Setup and Tire Settings. If you have a special sales class code for tire sales, select it here from the drop-down. If you don't choose a code for your tire sales, they will be recorded with your default parts sales class code. Choose your preferred search and display options from this area and click Update. This is the tire sales page. You can customize how this page displays using the Grid Config button. In this pop-up, you can determine which fields display, the order, as well as their size in pixels. Next, we'll create tire extras such as mount, balance, or road hazard coverage. Similar to other setup items in Manage Online, we start by creating a code. Enter a description, add in our cost, and the selling price. The sales class matches the selection above. You can change it if necessary, but we'll leave it as is. We will change the product tax type though. With these two items, we'll designate if we want the extras to be added to our tire sales automatically and if we want them to be a mandatory addition. If this item is being created as a fee, we would check this box which is used in conjunction with the fee matrix below. The process for creating tire fees is covered in depth in another video. Click the link above to view it. For now, we'll click Add to complete the process. If you want to show the tire extras as a single line item, put a check mark here and enter what you want that line item to say. If desired, you can create a tire markup matrix based on each brand of tire you sell. Start by entering the brand here. Enter a starting or from value for the range and a to value for the range. Then select how this range will be marked up, either a fixed dollar amount or by a percentage of the cost. Finally, enter the markup amount and click Add. Continue adding as many ranges as necessary. If you have your tire inventory in a Microsoft Excel CSV file, you can import it into Manage Online. The file must be formatted precisely in order for the import to work. Click here for the specific format requirements. You can also download an example template file by clicking here. Once you have your inventory file formatted correctly, click Import. From this dialog box, navigate to the file folder on your computer. You can view the status of your import here. If you order your tires online through American Tire Distributors and their suppliers, you can do that from within Manage Online. To set this up, we need to start by creating a supplier. Click Supplier in the Setup menu. Fill in as much of the information on this page that you have. You can leave the Supplier ID field blank and let the system assign one, or you can create your own. You can also save a little time by putting in the zip code and clicking Lookup. Manage will automatically fill in the city and state fields. Once you have completed the form, click Update. We need to link to the ATD catalog to enable online tire ordering. For this, go back to User Options and click Catalog eBusiness. We'll select the supplier from this drop down list. If you haven't done so already, follow these instructions before going any further. Assuming you have everything you need to continue, we'll enter our location number and click Find. When the location information appears, verify that it is correct and click Update. 
With that, you're ready to add tires to a work document. Click the link to view the Adding Tires to a Work Document video.